it is very important to do x-rays of the coccyx or tailbone while a person is sitting down if they're having tailbone pain. And I'll show you an excellent uh, example of that uh, here within this video. Uh, I'm Dr. Patrick Foy, and I'm the, an MD or medical doctor, and I'm the director of the Coccyx Pain Center or Tailbone Pain Center here in the United States. And I'm online at www.tailbonedoctor.com. Regular x-rays of the coccyx uh, that you would get in most radiology centers or hospitals or doctor's offices are, are unfortunately done while the patient is either standing up or lying down. And that's a problem because for most people with tailbone pain, their pain is not worse while they're standing up or lying down. Their pain is worse while they're sitting. So the x-rays can be done while you are sitting. Uh, but unfortunately, more than 99% of radiology centers have never even heard about this, uh, and they'll tell you that it's not possible, uh, and they're just unfortunately wrong. Coccyx x-rays that are done while somebody is standing up or lying down can often look totally normal, even when somebody has a severe problem at their coccyx, uh, and then unfortunately the patient is told that there's nothing wrong with their coccyx. The Seated x-rays, x-rays done while sitting, very, very often they will show uh, substantial abnormalities that were totally missed on the other x-rays. And really having a specific diagnosis uh, is incredibly important because that's what allows for uh, a specific treatment in a specific patient. So extremely important to have the sitting x-rays done to detect the abnormalities. The way that these uh, x-rays are done, uh, you know, this is just an image uh, from my book uh, in chapter 16 is all about medical tests for tailbone pain and here showing sitting x-rays uh, for tailbone pain uh, and basically the x-ray source is on one side, the patient is sitting typically on something hard uh, like a chair or a wooden board and then the image is recorded uh, on the other side. So while the person is sitting, and in fact they would be sitting typically uh, leaning partly back. Uh, and this image is, as I mentioned, from the book. So now we're gonna look together at an example where the standing x-rays looked totally normal, but the sitting x-rays revealed a very dramatic dislocation. And this is something that I see almost every day here uh, for patients who travel in to see me uh, here at the uh, coccyx pain center or tailbone pain center. So here is a uh, x-ray that's done uh, you know, showing a patient uh, from the side. Uh, so this patient is uh, standing up. Uh, I'll hold up a, an anatomical model here uh, showing the sacrum and coccyx. And in the side view uh, like this, the sacrum is up here. And then right here, these are the, you know, between my fingers on the image here, these are the bones of the coccyx while the person is uh, standing up. And then he, uh, actually I'll point out one additional thing here is that while the person is standing up, the alignment looks essentially uh, you know, very normal. Uh, if I hold up uh, a piece of paper here uh, just to hold it along the front wall of, the, uh, of those coccygeal bones, you can see that they're nicely lined up. Or here if I hold it along the back wall, th those, uh, the alignment is uh, relatively normal here. Uh, while the person is standing. And if that was the only x-ray that somebody had, they would be told you know, that their coccyx looks fine and that there's nothing wrong with them. But here you can see what happens when the person starts to sit down. When the person is sitting, the alignment is no longer normal at all. You can see that this second bone of the coccyx has, has gone into approximately a 90% dislocation. Uh, this side is to the right here where my hand is now is inside of the patient. Uh, out here to the left where my hand is now is, to, is outside of the patient. Uh, so basically this bone has uh, gone into a 90%, almost 100% uh, dislocation where the bone is moving uh, backwards out of the pelvis when the person puts some of their body weight onto that area. And here, uh, while the person is not only sitting, but now they're sitting leaning back, uh, it essentially has now gone into a 100% dislocation uh, at that bone. And another way I can show this to you if the image is not uh, already uh, clear enough 
uh, on the uh, on the uh, images that you've seen so far. Uh, sometimes it can be difficult to see the x-rays clearly. Uh, often what I will do for patients is to uh, is to draw out the uh, sacrum and coccyx on a, on just some uh, tracer paper here. So so with the uh, you know here just tracing the sacrum is up here. Here is that first bone of the coccyx right here. The second bone is here, and then the remainder is down there. And if I if I hold a uh, a piece of paper behind that for a moment, you can see I've roughly sketched out the bones with roughly uh, with roughly uh, normal alignment as best I can draw on uh, the uh, tracer paper here. If I go to the next image here, while the person is now sitting uh, straight up, again, if I draw that out here, and I'm just here outlining with a crayon on some tracer paper, what's happening, you know, the, the position of the bones. So I'm just outlining the edges of the bones. And if I slide my piece of paper behind there again, uh, hopefully you can see now, you know, what has, uh, what has changed in terms of the position of that second bony segment, which was in a relatively normal alignment uh, on the x-ray a moment ago, uh, now has moved into that, you know, again, almost 90% uh, uh, dislocation here. And if I advance to that third image where the person is sitting leaning back, and again, I will put my tracer paper up here for demonstration uh, purposes. And probably the best way to draw this will be right So again, I'm just outlining roughly the edges as we can see them through the tracer paper. And if it wasn't already obvious a moment ago, it will be now. I hold the paper up here. So you can see how this image where uh, on the far left where I'm pointing here, the alignment looked essentially normal while the person was standing. And then while the middle image, while they're uh, sitting straight up, you can see this starting to go into a dislocation, not yet a 100% dislocation because there's a little bit of overlap between coccyx bone number one and bone number two. Uh, whereas here on this third image where the person is sitting leaning back, which is usually the most painful position for people with tailbone pain, you can see now that there's a 100% dislocation between coccyx bone number one and bone number two. It's essentially uh, has dislocated completely out of alignment with the bone that's above it. Okay, so uh, that's information about seated x-rays uh, of the coccyx. Uh, you can find more information about this on my website, which again is tailbonedoctor.com. Uh, you can also go to that site if you want information about coming in here for an evaluation for tailbone pain, uh, which uh, almost always uh, includes the sitting versus standing x-rays. Uh, or if you are in Paris, France, you can have them done uh, by Dr. Uh, Main, who actually uh, first invented these. Uh, if you're interested for more information about the book, which includes a whole chapter about testing for tailbone pain, uh, you can search for that uh, on Amazon if you just search for tailbone pain and my last name, which is Foy. Uh, you should find the book uh, easily there. Uh, so I hope that information is helpful for you. I get a lot of questions about sitting versus standing x-rays for tailbone pain. Uh, and hopefully from you know, uh, what you've seen on the images uh, has shown you the importance of having those done so that you can have a specific diagnosis, uh, which really then lays the groundwork for a specific treatment. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.